Hi, I'm William Malik, and I'm here with your bit of security for May 2nd, 2024. I'd like to talk a little bit about the Software Bill of Materials, or SBOM. This is a wonderful concept. The idea is that when you buy a piece of code, you come it comes with a label. Not unlike the label you'd see on the side of a can of soup that says, here are the ingredients, here's the provenance of the code, here are what components were brought in when the thing was being created. Now, the benefit of having this bill of materials for the software is that if there is a defect in one of the components, you can quickly identify, isolate, and correct the source of any problems. Uh, in particular, supply chain attacks against software uh, can suffer a lot from not knowing what's in there. Recent supply chain attacks um, have caused considerable amounts of damage, and they're really tough to diagnose, especially if you have no idea what components make up the product that you're running in production. So here's the extension that I'd like to consider. Software bill of materials could carry more than just the list of ingredients. They can also carry information about the environment in which the product was created. They can carry information such as documentation, the purpose of the module, the intent behind it, the design principles that were governed its creation, the environment in which it was constructed and in which it is targeted to run. This information will help you figure out what kind of use cases make sense and what don't. But the most important extension I can see is the inclusion of a library of test cases to accompany the code. In my own experience, uh, during my time at IBM, I worked on the team that did the build for the operating system releases for MVS and components, JES, RACF, et cetera. The important thing there was that for every line of code we shipped, we created and archived four lines of test cases. So that means, and this is dating back to the 1980s, for the one and a half million line of code OS, we had six million lines of code of test cases that accompanied that. What that meant was that whenever a change was made, a new function introduced or a problem resolved, we would rerun that entire regression test bucket to keep a high level of confidence that the code's original function and intent had been preserved. I would like to see an extension to the software bill of materials to incorporate test cases. The other matters are important, but in particular, the ability to recreate a test environment will move us a long way towards actually earning the name engineering for this field of software engineering that so many of us are practitioners of. Give it a thought. Let me know what you think. And I'm William Malik, and this is your bit of security. Be safe out there.